Hello, it is XO Ashley Pink, otherwise known as Ashley. If you hear weird noise, I film in front of my computer. In fact, my tripod here is balanced on it. And uh, my computer just blue screened out of nowhere. I safely ejected my uh, memory card that was empty already. I just emptied it. And then it blue screened. So if you hear a noise, that's what it is. Or if you see me stopping and typing because I forget I'm filming, that's what it is. Um, but I'm going to be setting up my August in my bullet journal. So I'm hand drawing it again. And, oh, this is backwards. I also reorganized this stuff. But I'm going to be, I'll pull in, I have some scripts there. I'll take out my calendars. I don't think I'll use them, but I'll take them out. Um, I know that I'll use the tab. Uh, I'll use the tab one from Aaron Floto, and this is also from Aaron Floto. Um, I'll go through them just in case I do. This is a future log also from Erin Floto. This is from ZZ Sticker Co. And then that is from uh, Scribble Stickers Co. And Scribble Stickers Co. and ZZ Sticker Co. are both Canadian. And Erin Floto is American from you know, New York State. So, just in case you're wondering about that. So I already sketched out most of this. And I'm going to be doing like a seashell beachy theme. Um, I already pulled some Tombos. I grabbed some yellow and brown, like a deep yellow and brown in case I wanna do sand. I got some different pale blues. That's the same pale blue. I meant to grab this one. Some like pale, like lightish blues, some pinks. Um, like for Tombos, I also just have my regular old staples, uh, I was gonna say white lighter. <laughs> Can you tell I'm interested in the classic charms? It's one of my favorite shows. They have that, by the way, on, um, Paramount Plus. That's the first thing I do when I get a new streaming service. I check to see if they have Criminal Minds, if they have NCIS, if they have Bones, and if they have, uh, Charmed classic charm specifically because those are my four favorite binging shows well also Grey's Anatomy but Grey's Anatomy is on Netflix so I don't have to worry about that but yeah I have um regular old <laughs> eraser and then I got this pencil the eraser on the back of it though this is a Tombow monograph pencil by the way um is like towards the end so it keeps slipping down <laughs> um and then I have the um monograph eraser here and then I have two sharpie fine liners I believe these are these are I just really like these sharpie fine liners but these are specifically 0 0.8 I've never found any ones that are any different so if you find any ones that are different than 0 0.8 that are, that are fine liners I'd be interested in that and then I also have my statler um not my statler my westcott stainless steel um, ruler. Sorry. <laughs> I'm kind of tired, but I want to get this started. Now, usually when I do stuff like this, I'm going to, I, uh, mm, I can't talk right now. I do it all in one sitting. I am tired and I want to just get this started. So... I don't know if I'm going to do it all in one sitting. I tried my best to sketch out stuff. Um, I also want to say, right now, my quote that I picked, I couldn't find the author for it, but it says, may you always have a shell in your pocket and sand in your shoes. And the reason why I love that quote, so my dad got this sign for my mom for the cottage. When we bought our cottage, it was a total fixer-upper. Like, we had to gut it from the inside out and, like, to totally redo it. It's been, like, my dad's pet project for the last 12 years. So they slowly buy pieces, and that's kind of, like, their thing. Like, instead of going on date nights, like, to dinner, they'll go on date nights to buy stuff for the cottage. Um, which is that. But my dad's uh, name is Sandy, and my mom's name is Michelle, and her nickname is Shelly. 
So may you always have a shell in your pocket and sand in your shoes. <laughs> it's like my parents quote. So, um, I had to include that since I was doing like a shell beachy theme. <laughs> so I'm going to get started. Um, and yeah, oh, my computer finally loaded. So I might log into that and see what the hell's going on. Um, Cause like I said before, it randomly blue screened. <laughs> I don't seem to know how to not overshare on the internet. Maybe I can take a, a Skillshare class on that. Not sponsored. So as you can see, I actually was really slow sketching these out and I got more confident as um, the spread went on, but I started out really slow. I wanted it to look a certain way. And I say really slow because you can see my hand movements being so careful. And this is five and a half times speed. <laughs> so it's definitely took me a while. I'm really, I really like how it looks though. Shells and stuff like that. See, I'm not really confident with my doodles. I'm not, I'm not an artist. I struggle with this stuff and it took me forever like erasing and stuff like that. Also, you'll see later on, my Tombos kept erasing when I used my whiteout. Not my whiteout, my eraser. Um, I was erasing the pencil under it and with like the really light pastel blue, I've had that issue, but with none of the other ones I ever, I've ever had that issue with. And this is a method I use a lot going over the pencil and I was used to like maybe a little bit coming up if I pressed a bit too hard, but I wasn't going that hard with the pen, with the pencil eraser and it kept coming up, which is annoying. And it also pilled a lot on this, on the word August, which I wasn't expecting because my Vivid Scribbles didn't do that last year. And I got pretty heavy on the art. Um, but yeah, I had to like redo a bunch of the thing. My, You'll also see throughout this, I tried to use this like faux calligraphy, um, Little Mermaid inspired font. It didn't quite work out. And the quote, where you always have a shell in your pocket and sand in your shoes, that is, um, I know it's a popular quote, but it's also something that my mom got my dad, no, my dad got my mom for Christmas one year. <laughs> It's a little quote with that for the cottage because this we have like this beachy shell theme at our cottage that my parents worked really hard to fix up. But my mom's nickname is Shelly. Her name's Michelle and her family nickname is Shelly. And my dad's name is Sandy. So may you always have a shell in your pocket and sand in your shoes. <laughs> I also, I'm not 100% sure. I liked when I, with the sand, I thought I wanted to mix between like the um, light pale, brown color that's usually just for sand and the yellow and usually when I mix those colors it looks nice because I've done it before I did it on a swatch and it must just be like the paper is a bit brighter or something because I didn't like it at all but it's down so anyway I tried to keep the same colors as well throughout this entire spread just trying to be consistent this is actually the spread I believe I worked the most on. Yeah, I liked this color for sand by itself. And then I added yellow and I feel like it took away from like the sandy color, but I don't know. I wanted to try to add like a textured sand. And that brings me to my master, my master, my, yeah, my mask, the master task list. <laughs> um, you can see I also tried to do those headers. Um, I'm doing a longer events and to-do lists, mainly so I can kind of get, I don't have that much to do this month, but I know next month I'm going to have a lot to do because I'm going back to school. I will be working full time and being a full time student to get my degree online and it's going to be fun <laughs> in the most stressful way possible. And I tried my best to kind of set up August in a way that I could like explore the layout before I actually have to like really press it. Cause I find September is a really hard month for transitions for me. I'm also a preschool teacher though. 
So in September, sorry, I just had my finger over the mic if that made a difference. I feel I record these voiceovers on my phone. So even though I work in a child care center and we're open year round, in September, my senior preschoolers leave, which means the junior preschoolers who are available move up. So there's, we get new junior preschoolers, right? Because it's all based on space. So where the oldest kids leave and the kids who are going to pre-primary leave, everybody is moving, going to be moving up spaces if possible. So in September, I'm gonna have a whole new class enrollment. Literally, currently on my enrollment, including the part-timers, I have 16 children and out of those 16, 12 are confirmed to be leaving. And we've already had, I had 21 students on my roster from September to May and we've already had five leave. <laughs> so my room's gonna be looking very different because we're not gonna have that many stay. And that's just the reality of working in preschool. But I know that with all those changes, you know, I'm gonna have to work with those children, get to know them. And on top of that, I'm going to be working, not working, I'm going to be doing school full time. Three of my courses are asynchronous, meaning that there's no like set class schedule that I have to like meet on Zoom every week, but two of them will, will be. Well, I'm still waiting on one to see if I get in. I'm on, I'm waitlisted for it, but I assume I'm gonna be in it. And that brings us to this page, the mood tracker. I am so proud of this mood tracker. I've been wanting to do decorative mood trackers, and I kind of feel like Polaroids are a way to have like the calendar boxes still, but a little bit more decorative. This is like, I had to actually think out how I was realistically going to do it. I, wa I was going to do one of the like the swirly shells, but I couldn't figure out how to draw it on here. I'm really happy with how this looks. This is gonna look so cool. <laughs> and with the way August pilled, you'll see me now erasing the front and kind of like tracing over the indents where because I'm apparently heavy handed with pencils. My body stat pa stats page is pretty similar as well. It's just the same as it's always been. Um, you'll notice that I am using the tan colored pen and other pens to like put like swirls around it. I don't know what I was going, but I figured it was a way to add decorative stuff. Um, not quite seaweed, but you know. Um, this is me, that was me messaging somebody. I'm trying to figure out who it was. Anyway. Yeah, my body stats page is pretty similar. Just tracking, you know, my waist, my weight, um, the length of and the length of my bicep and my thigh. Not my length, width. <laughs> um, I also did the be weird, so I had to white it out. I don't think I decorated that this page that much. Okay, I was going five times speed. Who was I texting for three minutes solidly? Th this is, what? <laughs> anyway, these pages I find are really hard. These pages from Purple Panda Planner for my one sticker a day sheet, I mean page. I really like it, but they're almost like die cuts. So you have to like really pull at it to try to get it, <laughs> to try to get it off. And it can sometimes take forever. Like I'm literally trying to like, it takes forever. If I didn't have my Cricut tools, I don't know how I'd get it open. But I do love how this looks and it saves me from having to draw the calendar. So there's that. <laughs> was, was it this page? Yes, I skipped over Monday, I think. I think I put Sunday, Tuesday. Yes, I put T. And then I realized, so I had to go over Monday weirdly. And yeah, I really like this one sticker a day page. I'm finding that having like, it's forcing me to pick a highlight from the day or something that I remember most from the day. So mixed in with that. And I also really like how it looks like the riveting of that swirl that I just did with the blue looks mixed with this page, which is my two lines a day. It's really helping me reflect on the day, which is something that I'm working on with my therapist, I'm working on reflection in general, and I find reflection hard, so I'm trying to kind of like incorporate different methods, because I'm trying to reflect with a specific thing with my therapist, but 
I find this is helping me reflect on the day, which is helping me try to think of other reflective practices to incorporate with what I'm working on with my therapist. Um, and I really like doing these two days. It's really helping me figure out two lines a day. It's really helping me figure out, especially with planning for the next day, like I'm like tracking stuff. And then I'm moving on to my um, weeklies. I decided to do four weeklies because um, I made the executive decision that my that the 29th of August through to the 4th of September, I'm going to be doing as the first week of September. And I really like this layout for school because it has a space for notes. It has a space for weekly to do's and eat. There's a, but there's also a box for each day so I can like figure out and put little notes for each day. And this is what, and that's what I found I was using my weeklies for when I was in school before. I do have a video, I believe I put it up, on how I use my bullet journal for school. I'll put it in the cards somewhere. So this is me just setting it up and I'm literally just putting a letter for the day of the week and then the day. <laughs> I don't believe I fill in yeah, I did not fill in my to-do list like I usually do. And I know that because in this, I know I didn't do that in this video because I just did this that today. I usually fill that in, but I didn't. But yeah, that's the rest of it. You can watch me fill in the rest of my weekly. Okay, so this is what I've got. So first of all, you'll notice I went over stuff. I used to use these all the time when I was using Tombow's and other markers for outlining lettering, because that's what I used to only use it for. And it's never pilled up my page like that before. But this is also the first time I'm doing that in a Vivid Scribbles. And Vivid Scribbles is like this very like sturdy-ish paper. Um, but that just surprised me. I'm wondering if it's because where my lettering was, I erased a lot of stuff. So I'm wondering if the paper was just weak there because I went over it. I went through a bunch of different lettering. <laughs> so I'm wondering if that's why. Also, there's this, some spots with ghosting where I wasn't expecting ghosting. Like when I did a, did I do a pen test on this page? Anyway, I had, this is my second Vivid Scribbles and I wasn't expecting that. But anyway, so this is kind of what it went with. The yellow kind of stands out a little bit for like the sand, but I don't know. I don't know if I liked it, but I kept it with it. Um, so this is how it turned out. I need a cough. <coughs> Um, I decided to, and this page is for like deco other than like little spots there, to just do like some colors around it, um, some sand there, then I have all my same tasks, I mean habits, reading, journaling, showering, tracking my period, work out, check in with my Moxie Life, Bujo, TSKP, and budget planner, and then do my lunch, drinks, and Insta. Um, so for example, when I'm, if you watch my Moxie Life videos, you know I have um, my um, PM routine I'm tracking is showering, doing my lunch and drinks, planner check-in, and then habits. So the habits that I'm nurturing are reading, journaling, essentially, because these are two things. Lunch and drinks are both things that I need to do anyway. Um, this is my coffee for the morning and my water for work for the morning, at least my first refill. I mean, my, that's what that is. And then my lunch is um, just making my lunch box up. So maybe sometimes I do take my lunch to work or at least prep it the night before. Um, and my snacks. 
because I do have reactive, reactive hypoglycemia, so it's not like I can't just not take my food. Um, if I did for some reason, Tanya, who is the current um, cook at our child care center, would be finding me in the kitchen a lot more. <laughs> I would be showing up being like, I need food, I'm a raid your kitchen, which I don't think, um, I don't think my director would appreciate. <laughs> I know you watch these videos, Ashley, so I don't think you'd appreciate me just raiding your kitchen instead of, instead of just taking my own lunch. Um, so yeah, and then checking in with my Moxie Life, my Bujo, my TSKP, my Budget Planner. That doesn't always happen. Like, I literally want to take it out and check it in. With my Bullet Journal, it's easier. I don't know why. Probably because I'm putting so much effort into it. But... My other ones, ideally what I'd like to do is do like the column in the each day. So where are they? Over here. So for example, I didn't set up my stuff yet, but for la the last week, let's look it up. So for like, for example, for this week, um, a lot of this stuff was already done, but at the, it's the end of the night now. So I can say I did edit, I did film, and I did schedule all the videos. Um, or like put this stuff in, like if it wasn't scheduled in, like for today, on uh, Friday, for example, putting in slept all day and then lifting up, line up and putting it there. Like I didn't do that on Friday, but I would have loved to do that on Friday, like checking in every night, that kind of stuff. And then of course, tracking when I work out, tracking my period. If, if you are a person who gets a period, you should be tracking it. It can tell a lot about your health. You should at least know how long, what days you, what day you start and what day you finish and how, how many days it lasts. Um, if I shower or not, cause that is a habit, um, a health habit that I am trying to encourage. And if you've been watching my bullet journals for a while, you know that it's something that I'm like struggling with. Um, and for me, one of the biggest things that I noticed was that I would have to do laundry halfway through the week because I didn't have enough washcloths or shower scrubbies. So I bought a fuck ton more of washcloths. So if I do run out of scrubbies, I can still just put soap in a washcloth and wash my body with that. And I think that's going to help because I really do find it easier to do laundry um, passively and like do a bunch on Saturday or Sunday and then slightly do it passively throughout the week instead of actively having to because I don't have any other choice and then journaling and reading I've been reading a lot more fan fiction so I'm finding it easier to check that off journaling right now I'm just counting it as doing my two lines a day but and then this I'm really proud of it <laughs> um and I put a little thing there oh I forgot to okay Let's see, I'm gonna pick the colors. Uh, yes, you, two, uh, three, four, five, and I'm gonna swap you out for that. I literally have a little thing with uh, all my things in it. So this is going to be pink, it's gonna be happy. And then this teal, darker teal color is going to be content. This lighter teal color is going to be sad. This deeper blue color, the true blue color, is going to be anxious. And then over here, I'm going to be using this darker blue, this almost steel blue from MAD. And this is the first time that I am using other colors. I started that in July. Since I started tracking my mood, what I did was green was happy, um, yellow was content, red was mad, blue was sad, and teal was anxious. Um, but since I'm doing themed, um, mood trackers, um, 
I wanted to start doing theme stuff for there. This is just body stats page, weight, waist, arm, and leg, and the days I'm going to do it. Um, I didn't really decorate that stuff. I love the decorative look, but also, like, there's going to be a lot more color on here when it's finished. Like, I'm looking at my current mood, which today is the 25th, so I should have filled this in, but this is really, like, colorful, so I noticed that there's, like, a lot of color going on, so I'm just where there's going to be a little bit more. My sticker a day, I really like how that looks. I wanted to use my hollow stickers because I've been missing using it, so I just threw it in. And I put Sunday, Tuesday, which I also did when we get to our weeklies, but this is my sticker a day, and I really like it. I need to check my current one to see if I wrote somebody's name in it. No. Um, so I've been writing little notes. It's kind of like a highlights, but like what the sticker stands for. Um, so last week I got fe vaccine, I got fever and chills, fever, and I was better. So I literally worked last week, but I had two, um, three days, but I had two sick days. Then I had to go home sick and I had to use another sick day. Um, and then by, by Saturday I was better. So we went up to Halifax like we were planning. Um, that being said, do you know how awkward it is to be in the middle of a really crowded Costco and have to violently cough and blow your nose every two minutes. Uh, because we needed the stuff and we were in and out and I was wearing a mask the entire time and I kept just blowing my nose and putting them off in a little trash section in my purse and using hand sanitizer. But the looks I got. Nobody asked me to leave though. I was nervous about that. <sighs> and then this page I can't show because it's my two lines of day page why am I showing that anyway that's what that would look like <laughs> this is my two lines a day I'm not going to show it when it's completed because I do write my students names in it um the other things that you see that might have my students names on it I use their initials because I know I'm going to show it online but I still want to mark their information um so it is useful to me that being said I'm doing that because I've been I haven't been told not to if like I said my supervisor my direct supervisor watches, tends to watch my videos, and if she tells me, yeah, no, no initials, I just won't show those spreads when I'm done. Like, I still find it useful, so I'll, I'll just start writing their names and not show those spreads when I'm done, so. And then I decided to use, do this for weekly. So, I um, watched this, um, I'm, this is my, like, watch list right now. It's full of planner stuff. And Erin Smith, she came up on my um, recommend in my recommend, so I added her because it looked pretty. And she did something similar to this, only it was better sketched out. They were more even, and there was like this for a weekly, and then she had like lists here. But what I decided to do instead was put weekly to dos above here, and then put any notes in the sections. And I thought this would be good for when I'm in school, so that I can write exactly like what I want to do and if there's any notes and what when classes are where but school doesn't start this month it starts in September but I wanted to do that and I also made the executive decision for my first weekly in September to include the last week I know some people will I know in the past I would just do the last three days in August but I've been finding that confusing so I'm going to do it this month and if that doesn't work it doesn't work and I'll change it but So yeah, this is my video. If you like it, please give it a like, share, thumbs up, and all that have a blue. And I will see you later. Bye.